Lily. Who is he? <laughs> How can you do this to me? In my own house. Oh, come on, honey. I think you were just exaggerating. There was an innocent affair. Innocent affair? Come to me. Lily, I am so... I am so sick of this. You're hanging around who knows... Who knows where? You know, I... I really don't know you anymore. So what? You wanna end it? Huh? Really? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. But first... Uh, tell me please, my angry honey bunny. Whose money do you live on, huh? Who pays for all these restaurants you eat? Who buy you these cute clothes, huh? Um, <sighs> sorry, sorry. You got a job. Woohoo! No, you don't. Come on. Uh, Lily, oh. I told you I send the CDs over. Oh. And they're excited to have me. Jay, come on. Who needs you? You're totally useless. You're very cute, but... No one will hire someone like you because you just can't do anything, honey. You know, I've made my mind. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you what? Goodbye, Lily. Bye-bye. <laughs> what? Changed your mind? And about me not having money, I just got an interview to the biggest company in this town. Oh, good luck. We'll see. Bye-bye. Good luck. Oh, I had to sleep. So, Jake. So, Jake. Relax, relax. Listen. Have a drink. Have yeah. a drink of water. Calm down. So, Jake, tell me. Tell me why you're the man for this job. Well, um... <laughs> I, I mean, um, why should we bring you into the ranks of our great company? Judging by your resume, I mean... You don't have any management experience. You don't have any unique skills. Why should we bring you on? Um... I'm so sorry, um... I had a, I had a really rough night last night. I couldn't, couldn't sleep anyways, but, um... Well, um... Yeah, you're right. I have no experience. But I am a fast learner, and I am a very loyal employee. I guarantee that. Yeah, but, Jake, I mean, you've got a lot of jobs here. I mean, the list is long. It doesn't seem like you had much success with them, that it went really well. Well, I never suffered a defeat. I just found 10,000 ways that don't work. <laughs> Thomas Edison used to say that. Jake, you know, that's useless to me. That's, that's not gonna do me any good. Excuse me, but why? You know, these papers, the documents, the references, the numbers, the experience. I like to see what I'm looking at. Jake, let's play a game, huh? What do you say? Yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. The rules are real simple. I start a sentence and you finish it. You think you can handle that? Sounds pretty easy. Awesome. All right. Nobody's gonna bother us now. <laughs> Great. All right. So let's get started. <clears throat> let's say you're already an employee of this company, of this firm, and um, you're offered a new position with another firm. And this other firm is, is better known. It's more prestigious. It's more lucrative. You? I'll make sure that our company becomes more 
lucrative, more prestigious, and more well-known. Fantastic, fantastic, Jake. Now, let's say at this firm, there's a man. There's a man who's been working for you for, let's say, I don't know, 15 years. And he betrays you. He should be punished. Great answer. You know, Jake, you and I, we've got a lot in common. I live by those rules my life myself. Right. One final question. A man who's been stabbed in his back. He wants... I, I, I really don't know. I, Jake, Jake, relax. Relax. There's no right or wrong answer. What does he want? He wants to find a person who stabbed him and get his revenge. I like your response, as Jake. Hey, that's a nice tie. Did your girlfriend give it to you? Well, uh, how did you, how did you know? Oh, and by the way, how long have you been with her for? <clears throat> Sir, well, <laughs> I don't think it's relevant. All right, well, if it's not relevant, all. then uh, this part of the interview is over. Let's move on. Why don't you turn around? Uh, right now? Turn around. We're gonna do a little uh, memory test. What was on my desk? Uh, are we really gonna do this right now? Uh, no picking. What was on my desk? Okay, um. A pen. Right. A laptop. The nameplate. Mm -hmm. And, uh. And the picture in the Perfect. Frame. Nice. And what was in that picture? Sir, really haven't seen what's in the... My wife! Look at her! My wife is in that picture. And it didn't stop sir. me from sleeping with her, did it? Huh? No, sir, I honestly... Sit honest. down. The door's locked. Nobody can hear you. And that water. That water that you drank when you walked in here at the beginning when you were st st stammering. It's laced with arsenic. What? That's right, poison. And you know what this is? This is the antidote. DMSA. That's right, buddy boy. The antidote. Sir, let me help. Hey, sit down. Revenge and punishment. You did stab me in the back, didn't you? Jack? Okay, sir, I... I didn't know. She wasn't wearing a ring. She told me she was single. Well, trust me. So you're trying to tell me that she seduced you? She seduced you, then forced you to get into bed with her? Not... Jake, either you tell me the truth, Tell me what really happened, or you're not gonna get your hands on this. Jake, you better- No, wait, I, I, I'll tell you the truth, okay? And don't waste my time with lies. We met at the bar. She wasn't wearing a ring. She suggested we go to my place and, and I agreed, okay? I'm not the bad guy here. Listen, I broke up with her because she cheated on me. That's the truth, sir. I'm not lying. No! What? <laughs> Perfect. I got it. It's all recorded. Oh, this is amazing. Now my wife, she won't be able to steal my business from me. I needed the evidence for the court case. Divorce settlement hearings. I needed evidence, but it was so tough to get. Jake, you did a great job. And you know what? I actually gotta thank you. I gotta thank you for, for opening up my eyes and helping me understand who she really is. And she's not right for me. You know what? You're actually kinda cool Put the water in the glass. The water. I made it up, I was lying. So the email, it was just a, it was just a setup, huh? Jake. You got no talent. You got no skills. You got no knowledge. And you know, the only experience you have is, is hitting on married women. A job, any job, it's a journey that can't be given to anybody who doesn't put in the effort or the work. Thanks for the interview, Jake. You. 
We'll get back to you. Are you? Hi. It's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit 2 million subscribers and now we really need your help. Like, share this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and see ya!